In these problems, we have some exponential equations, and we're being asked to solve for x where x is stuck up here in the exponent. So how are we going to do that? We've got 81 equals 27 to the x plus 5 power, and they want to know what x is. Well, we could try some trial and error plugging in numbers for x, but that's going to be pretty tricky in a problem like this one. There is a method that will help, and that is to try to get the same bases on either side here. And you may have noticed something already about 81 and 27. You might have already thought to yourself, aha, those are powers of 3. 81 is 3 to the fourth power. And 27 is 3 to the third power. So I can rewrite 27 to the x plus 5 as 3 to the 3 times x plus 5. When you take an exponent to an exponent, you multiply the exponents. That's what we're doing here. Once you've got the bases the same, you can actually set this part equal to this part to make a new equation. And that's what we're going to do. So 4 equals 3 times x plus 5. And that's an equation we can solve pretty simple with some algebra. So let's distribute the 3 to do that. We've got 4 equals 3x plus 15. And we're going to subtract 15 from both sides. And that gives us, what, negative 11 equals 3x, and we'll divide by 3. So x equals negative 11 thirds. So uh, this is a number that you probably would have, it probably would have taken you a long time to come up with by trial and error. So x equals negative 11 thirds. Let's try another one. Here, uh, just looking at these numbers, I've got 16 and I've got 64. These are both powers of 4. So I can convert this 16 to 4 squared. So this would be 4 then time or to the 2 times negative x minus 3 power. And 64 is 4 to the third power. 4 times 4 is 16 times another 4 is 64. So once I've done that, I can take this chunk here and this chunk here and set them equal to each other. So we'll do that 2 times negative x minus 3 equals 3. We'll distribute the 2. We get negative 2x minus 6 equals 3. We'll add 6 to both sides. We're going to get negative 2x equals 9. And then we divide both sides by negative 2. And we get x equals negative 9 halves. So that is how to solve exponential equations by finding common bases.